here I am in Bristol. This is Jefferson Avenue in Bristol. 331 Jefferson Avenue. We got bricked sidewalks here. Nice street. It's like a historic area. The river is like two blocks that way. Let me give you a tour of this house. Got a cute little gate out front here. It's a twin. You got this walkway that actually runs all the way to the back of the house. I'll give you a look at the property. A cute little porch. Four total stories if you count the basement. And you see what the side looks like. It's a big house. And the property is really long. If you see that shed in the back, it goes all the way to the back of the property. I'm going to take you back there. So this is the front door. And let's go inside. There's a nice door here. There's some traffic glass. It's like a fake wood door, but it's pretty good looking. Got paneling in here. And wallpaper. It looks pretty nice. Historic type ceiling. Light fixture. Pretty cool. Here's your staircase to go upstairs. Got some character to it. The house needs a lot of work, as you can see. So there's like a narrow path here between the staircase and this wall. It's, uh, I guess it's a shortcut to the kitchen, I guess. This room here, the guy who uh, owned this place was supposedly working on it. It's got lots of building materials, tools and things but as far as the actual work getting done don't see a lot of that happening so it needs a lot of sheetrock work it needs taping and spackling you can just see from some of the work here uh don't know why you couldn't make that out of one piece it's got some fine lumber here the luan and things like that a saw i don't know exactly what this guy was doing as best i could tell it wasn't much so you got the front room here and then i guess this would have been the dining room possibly there's a lot of broken into a lot of rooms here so if the front room was your living room and this is your dining room and then we have this room some plumbing work was done here and they opened up the ceiling so then we have a, a third room and then a fourth room, which he made into an office. Over there we have access to the basement. I'm going to take you down there. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking here with foam on the ceiling. but uh, So this was the guy's office. And then we get into the kitchen. So we got like an island here. Looks like he... Build it himself. And there's a bunch of cabinets. I uh, don't know what the hell he was doing with the ceiling. It's almost like he coated it with uh, with like a roofing paint. I don't know what he was thinking. But um, this is the kitchen here. The cabinets are okay. You know, they're rental grade type things. Obviously, fridge went there. Somebody in this house knew how to do sheetrock. Because they did it on at least one wall. But the rest of it doesn't look so good. And we got another finished area out here. So this is your back door. And uh, there's a full bathroom here. That's right, full. So there's your toilet, sink, uh, window, panning light <laughs> from 1970s. What do we got here? We got a shower probably could just be cleaned up i'm not sure i only think you could do something with that <laughs> paint it or whatever the door just needs to be cleaned this is where he kept the washer and dryer there's some nice cabinets here and some light fixtures so this when he had the washer and dryer in here it looked pretty damn good 
this was a, a nice room in the house. And a full bed. Since we're on this floor, I'm going to take you all the way out. So, in the back of the house here, we have a little porch. And you can see that walkway that runs all the way up the side of the house. And you can see my car out there on Jefferson Ave. And when you turn this way, you got a big tree here. It's a pretty tree. And then a walkway all the way to the back. This here is some kind of giant pile of dirt that would have to be removed. I believe the pile of dirt and rocks came from when he put this shed in. So he must have had this area dug out and put this shed in here. And it's pretty well done. Um, it's got space, big concrete walls all the way around it, some garden beds. It's a big property. It goes all the way down to this Grant Avenue. So if you look on a map, Jefferson goes all the way to Grant Avenue. So there's some kind of parking lot here. I don't know what the deal is with this parking lot. But there's parking on the street here too. So this shed is like at road level. If you were a construction guy or a landscaper or something, this might come in real handy. You can see this was built pretty pretty well, it looks like. This wall looks really solid. Shed looks level. It's got railings. Nice ramp that was put in here with railings. It's got uh, electrical power in here. So, you know, it could be a good man's cave. This guy's got all kinds of junk in here that we'll have to get rid of. But, uh, pretty nice shed. A lot of space. Not sure how big it is. Looks like maybe, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Could be like maybe 18 feet deep. So, I'm going to shut off these lights. And lock this sucker up. Alright. Just close this up. There's some trash cans and stuff out here. We'll get this all cleaned up. This house is being sold as is at the moment for $129. Um, if I get some takers, you got a deal. And uh, if not, I'm probably just going to flip it. So let's go inside again. I'll show you the other floors. We're back inside the back door. There's our bathroom. Here's our kitchen. Here's our office. Here's our whatever room. Before we go down the basement, here's the basement. This is that narrow hallway, I guess like a shortcut to the kitchen. I'm not really sure why the it was designed like this. And um, obviously somebody might want to take out some of those walls and open it up a little bit. <clears throat> so, it's like a full basement for, say, three quarters of the way, and then it's a crawl space on that side. Some unusual things here, like he's got this manifold put in here. And look at all these valves, all these copper lines running to different radiators with ball valves and it's all marked and stuff i haven't tracked it all but you know this guy was pretty organized there's an inside oil tank I'm, i <clears throat> guess that's the operational tank because i don't see anything else electrical panels uh, a bit of a mess <clears throat> a lot of this stuff is all telephone wires i frankly don't know what the hell this guy uh was doing he running telephone lines to every room in the house maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense obviously be careful if you're in the house because the electrical panel is not covered the rest of this is just storage bullshit that he left here you can see over here 
There's lots of things that are marked clearly. I tell you what they're for. The guy was pretty organized, so somebody with some uh, attention to detail could figure it all out. He's got some storage down here. And it's nice to have a crawl space so you can get underneath the kitchen or the bathroom that's over there. So that's about it for down here. The owner took actually, it looks probably looks cluttered to you, but it was actually worse. He took a lot of the stuff out, so I'm okay with what he did. So <clears throat> This is the main floor we're back on, and we got two more stories to go look at. There's your front door, and right in front of you is a staircase. Pretty cool character here. I like the way it looks. This, this hallway is unusual because it's so narrow. You can see it's almost just the width of a door, like maybe, is that even a... If that's a 30 inch door, I'm not sure. I don't know why somebody cut this out, I guess to run wires or whatever. So you come up the steps, we go right into the bathroom. So we have a full bath here, a little bit unusual, but it's a full bath. And on this side, you can look out, see the backyard, and you can See the roof here it looks like it I don't know I would assume it has to be done the kitchen's probably underneath there and that could have been part of the problem I don't see any stains on the roof a view down the steps so we got a bathroom and three bedrooms on this floor this one looks like it's in pretty good shape you just have to maybe clean it up change the carpets no coat of paint on it. The ceilings look real tight. Everything, all the corners look good. Ceiling fan, wooden doors. Again, there's your view out back. All right, this is bedroom number one. Then we go into this bedroom number two. Some crap on the carpet here. But the windows look like they're Pretty good. If you wanted to move in, this would be a good room to set up your bed in. So we got bedroom number two here. And uh, this is the master. We got a couple of windows here looking out front. Show you the view out front. There's my car again. Not a bad looking street. Ah. Looking down this way, we got a big tree out front, so uh, closet over here. Wooden doors, wooden molding throughout. And then we got another floor. We're gonna head up. So now we're going to the top floor. And this could be bedroom number four. Got a big sheet rocked in mm, closet storage space. Uh, another closet over here. And another window from way up top. I'm going to finish our tour from right here. Thanks.